Hey, what's up, Street Talks? Eric Kim from the Eric Kim Street Photography Blog. So, I want to do a quick presentation on how to conquer fear. So, the reason I'm doing this presentation is I've been thinking a lot about fear, of how fear holds us back, and if we had no fear in life, how much more could we accomplish and how much more of our potential could we tap into? And so, I just want to share some practical lessons and tips on how I was able to conquer some of my fears in life and how it's made me happier, more productive, more creative. So, tip number one, deadlift. If there's one thing I could attribute to conquering fear is to know that you're invincible and that you essentially have no limits. And there's probably no better way to do this than deadlifts. Um, the reason I'm a big fan of deadlifts is I think out of all the big powerlifting uh, moves, it's probably, to me, the safest. Uh, if you're doing bench press, you could drop the bar on your neck and that's not safe. If you do squats, uh, squats are pretty safe, but if you don't have a power rack, if you're squatting all the way down and you can't get up, that's a problem. With deadlift, you essentially lift off the ground or you don't really. I mean, granted, you can still screw up your back, but I think it's still a little bit safer. And the great thing about doing deadlift is you could just add two and a half, five pounds to your one rep maximum every week. And essentially, when you do a new one rep max, you feel like you're in beast mode. And one big inspiration that I got recently was... There's this uh, this girl, she was only 16 years old and she essentially deadlifted. Her name is Lee Winroth. She deadlifted 190 kilos, which is about like 430 pounds at a body weight of 67 kilos, which is like 147. So if she could do it, we could all do it. She's pretty much a boss. So to fast forward, she's putting her belt. And you can see all the plates on the side, right? So it's like at least one, oh, two, man. Stretching, just getting pumped up. Okay, that's... In it's back on the, come on <laughs> so for for those of you guys who are new to deadlifting it's actually pretty cool um one thing i recommend i do this too um if you're doing one rep max use chalk use the mix grip so one hand up one hand down and just lift like a beast and listen to some pretty empowering music so that's uh that's one tip learn how to deadlift and it doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl um i think there's nothing more attractive than somebody with a strong deadlift and so the assignment is, if you're new to deadlifting or powerlifting or whatever, just uh, go to the gym, figure out your one rep max. There's lots of tutorials online on how to properly deadlift or powerlift. And, I mean, it really matters less about powerlifting or deadlifting, whatever. It's, I think it's partaking in some sort of physical activity which makes you stronger and which helps you overcome, you know, any of your hesitations about your body or self-image or whatever. And once again... I'm a big fan of deadlifting because you could do you lift that freaking barbell off the ground, you feel like a freaking beast. Tip two, learn how to love rejection. This not only applies to street photography, but life. We're often more afraid of the rejection itself rather than sorry, let me say that again. We're more afraid of the fear of rejection than the rejection itself. And this applies to many things in life. Is you know, let's say you're trying to start a business, we're more afraid of people making fun of us failing rather than actually failing. Uh, we're also afraid of asking somebody to take a portrait of them because we're more afraid of um, the, the way that they're going to react to us just in case they might say no to us. And not only that is um, the best way to overcome your fears is just to learn how to love rejection. So one of the best tips of uh, entrepreneurship Learn how to call 100 people and get rejected 99 times until you get one person to say yes. And so the same thing you apply in street photography is uh, the assignment is approach 10 strangers and ask all of them to make their portrait and you had to wait till, till all 10 people reject you. And once you learn how to love rejection, you're going to fear nothing in life. Domesticate pain. So I think one reason that many of us have fear is we're afraid of pain and the idea of domesticating pain is to essentially make 
pain not as painful as you think it would be. So one of the ways I like to do that is by taking cold showers. Um, I practice intermittent fasting, which means I don't eat breakfast or lunch. I just eat one big meal evening. And learning how to feel comfortable with pain is, I think, one of the biggest steps to overcoming any fears that you have in life. So the assignment, if you've never done it, try to take a cold shower. I recommend just starting this way I did. I just started off super hot and just to your last three seconds, icy cold. And you slowly adjust that time where less time taking a warm shower, more time taking a cold shower. And then until one day, take deep breath in, deep breath out, jump in, just icy cold shower, full blast. And once you learn how to accustom yourself to a little bit of pain, you're not really going to be afraid of much else. Uh, tip four, don't fear death. So... I think a lot of us fear death because obviously you, know, you don't know what's going to happen to you after you die. Personally, I don't really believe in like a metaphysical hell that you know you die and then you're going to be in some hot place and the devil's poking you in the butt. But I do believe that the pain before death is often painful. So if you know you have cancer and you have to deal with the the pain of that, that's fearful. But once you're dead. I mean, you don't feel pain. So I think one of the things I try to do is meditate on death a lot, meaning know that each day might be my last and know that if you don't fear death, you could essentially do anything. And I think this is what helped a lot of visionaries create great things in their life. So Steve Jobs, he essentially knew he was going to die. He had cancer and that motivated him not to waste a single day of his life. So the assignment is imagine the worst case scenario because death is very rarely the worst case scenario. So let's say you're shooting street photography and you're taking a photo of a stranger or you're going to ask somebody for permission. Probably the biggest fear is someone might punch you in the face or yell at you or whatever, but you're not going to die. So often imagining the realistic worst case scenario of somebody yelling at you or whatever, it pretty much takes away the sting of harm and the sting of fear. Imagine rock bottom. So once again, let's say you want to start up your own business, but you're afraid of failing. What is the biggest worst part of failure? Let's say in terms of starting a business is, let's say you might have to move in back with your mom or you might have to declare bankruptcy. And it's often not as bad as you would think it is. Like even for example, my mom, she had to file for bankruptcy and it, you know, it really sucked like, you know, we always had all these creditors calling us. And I remember as a kid having to pick up the phone and, you know, to essentially lie and say my mom wasn't home. And shit was pretty scary as a kid, but honestly, it wasn't that bad. Like my mom, you know, she, after declaring bankruptcy, wasn't able to open up a bank account, couldn't get any credit cards, you know, had hard times finding new apartments to rent because of her poor credit. But, you know, it was we survived. And so oftentimes knowing what rock bottom is and imagining it vividly, you realize that there's really not much to fear. You're not going to die. And especially in most of the developed world, nobody dies of starvation. And most countries has welfare and stuff like that. I think we're more afraid of just like losing our status and losing our power and our cars and all our toys. But we really have nothing to, to, to be afraid of. So the assignment is just kind of imagine if you were to hit rock bottom, how would you adjust your life? And generally, more, we're more resilient than we like to think we are. Six, disregard of what others think of you. So I think one of the biggest issues of our fears isn't fear of failure, isn't really fear of dying or pain or whatever. It's just the fear that other people are going to call you, a, call you a failure. People are going to you know, criticize you, mock you, insult you, whatever it may be. If you don't really care what other people think of you, you could do a lot more epic shit. So the assignment is, do it, ask yourself, do I like what I'm doing? Why is it that we're so self-centered and we often care about ourselves more than others, but we care more about other people's opinion of us than our own opinion of ourselves? So when it comes to anything you want to do in life, whether it be any photography projects, artistic projects, anything you want to pursue or follow your dreams, start your own business, if you like what you're doing and you like the direction you're going, regardless of this chance of failure, you know, don't expect others to clap and praise you, but also don't pay any attention to what kind of people, discouraging things people might say. Seven, put on your diamond plane armor. So 
there is no substance on earth i might i'm probably wrong diamond is one of the hardest substances in the world and you need a diamond to cut another diamond and i like to put i like to use this kind of visual analogy that you have diamond plated armor that you put on this shining beautiful suit of armor that's impenetrable and whenever people insult you whenever fate throws shit at you or horrible things happen to your life it's just like people shooting these little puny wooden arrows at you and they're just kind of bouncing off your diamond plate armor like it's nothing so you know this is currently my wallpaper it's uh, our buddy achilles asking the gods for power and strength while everyone's trying to attack him and whenever i feel like i'm lacking self-doubt my favorite thing to do is watch scenes from the movie 300 so if you guys ever, ever watched um you know our, our spartan buddies this is another wallpaper i actually have let's see movie 300 oh yeah <laughs> so this is another wallpaper i have our, our good buddy king leonidas and his uh gleaming muscles and his uh, badass soldiers behind him knowing that we have nothing to fear in life except fear itself so watch the movie 300 or go on youtube and watch clips and the last tip i would give is treat today like it were your last so if today were your last day on earth like if you thought about it quite literally what would you do and what would you not do in your life and you know obviously it's hard to accomplish a lot in a day but you could accomplish a lot in a day so whether that means writing a personal essay about your life story whether that means you know telling people how you really feel about them like showing people you love them you know sh giving words of affirmation to them whether that means you know publishing some sort of artwork that might be un unfinished but you want to kind of put out there like even even this video right now it's it's pretty late i'm about to go to sleep here in hanoi i wanted to put it out there because if today were my last day i think this is important enough at least to me to put it out there so In photography, art, whatever, treat every day like you're your last. I mean, make photos that you would want to take. I mean, you could just take photos on your smartphone or it doesn't really matter. You could learn how to paint, you know, just take out a piece of paper, just draw something that you're passionate about or write something that's personal that you want to share with others. So just consider yourself, uh, consider the question to yourself every single day. If today were my last, what would I do? Would I not live? What would I not do? And you could live an epic, noble life. So if you want to learn more about conquering your fears, my suggestion is, I've written a lot of articles on this. I mean, probably the easiest is just to go on Google and search Air Kim Fear. And I've written a lot of articles on conquering your fears in photography, street photography, and life. So check out some of these articles. Or just go to airkimphotography.com slash blog slash fear. airkimphotography.com slash blog slash fear and see all these articles on how to conquer your, your fears, uh, a lot more in-depth stuff. So ultimately, I think lots of us, we're slaves to fear, but don't be a slave to fear, make slave your fear. Conquer fears, do epic shit, peace out.